hear about tampering in the NBA a lot, but now there's an official investigation by the league into the Los Angeles Lakers at the request of the Indiana Pacers regarding Paul George. To get a little insight into the possible ramifications, we welcome in SI legal analyst Michael McCann. Michael, what exactly is the NBA looking for in an investigation like this? Robin, they're looking for a potential violation of Article 35 of the league constitution, and it basically says any effort to persuade or entice a person who's under contract on another team to join the team that's doing the enticing constitutes tampering. So, if again, the key is whether someone's under contract with another team. And if there's a finding of tampering, the penalties can range from a warning, a fine, or even forfeiture of draft picks or transfer of draft picks. We have seen those things happen when teams have gotten in trouble with tampering. Now, draft picks, that would be bad. How good a chance do you think there actually is that something winds up punitive for the Lakers here? Well, the history of draft picks being forfeited is pretty modest. It, back in 1995, the Knicks and Heat had a tangle over whether or not the Heat had been trying to get Pat Riley to join the Heat, and the Heat ultimately had to transfer over a first-round pick, a 1996 first-round pick, and a million dollars to the Knicks. But usually with tampering, it's a fine. Usually it's, for instance, a, a, an owner like Mark Cuban hypothesizing that he would be interested in signing LeBron James if LeBron James became available. Not exactly a bold statement or, or particularly uh, hard to believe one. Who, who wouldn't want to sign LeBron James? But you can't do that because LeBron James is under contract with another team or a coach saying so-and-so would look good in our uniform or a season ticket holder letter going out saying, we're going to try to sign these free agents. That's all tampering, because you're creating the pretense of trying to persuade someone who's under contract with another team to join your team. But the penalties, again, usually are just fines. Michael, does tampering have to be intentional for it to be punished by the NBA? No, Maggie, it doesn't. It just has to be the act itself. Now, usually there is some kind of intent, but in the context of a season ticket holder letter going out where it just hypothesizes we're going to be interested in signing these players. There's no intent to tamper there. It's just simply a mistake by a staff member.